This looks good, doesn't it? Um, well, um, it's not, it's, what I'm going to talk about is definitely not our solution, but it's really um, the subject that uh, you and uh, Alexander also have been talking about, and that's about how to, how to collaborate and create a common basis, or that's what I took from some of your words. Uh, we are doing great things. Uh, Joachim, Hallo Welt, and, and Gezin, and uh, Wikibase, and lots of other companies. Um, but we are not able, and, and I think that we, that we have a, a very interesting opportunity there. We are still not able to create something big and uh, be a real good open source alternative to, to the big guys like uh, Microsoft with SharePoint and Confluence. And uh, I think what we are doing is really very interesting and very interesting to to a lot of companies and uh, large companies. So what I'm, what I'm trying to sell today, and I'm sure you are not um, surprised if I want to sell something, but I think I started in 2012. I think the first conference I went to was in Cologne. And I think the second or the third, I had, a, I had my first presentation. I was a little bit scared about that. But I, start, I, I think my message was that it's that the MediaWiki platform it provides very good opportunities to to have a nice business and to make money. And um, I think we should think a little bit bigger than we are doing at the moment. So you're you are definitely right, Richard, when you talked about the enterprise content management. I come from, um, in, in my previous life, I worked for Capgemini and Gartner was an important guidance for, of course, uh, Capgemini is a very large IT company and Gartner is a very large, is a, is a very important and leading uh, consulting company for the IT and, and, and has lots of magic quadrants and you want to end up in the, in the top right corner because that means that you have a good vision and you want to, and you have uh, ability to execute. And um, and when we thought about uh, about this subject on how what we should we do to create a a let's say a media wiki based open source platform that can be used and have by large companies um, we must join forces and uh, and we saw that Gartner is giving some direction to that they talked they used to talk about enterprise content management but now they call it a content services platform and when we looked at the content services platform and what Gartner thinks of that and, and, the, and the critical uh, capabilities we thought well this is what we are doing and this is what you, you guys are doing and this is what lots of us are doing. So, and of course, in the Wikiweb, because what we found also is that um, they, they still seem to have, of course, it's all about interpretation, but they still seem to have a little bit of a traditional look on content, very file docu document oriented. So the Wikiway is not really uh, well, um, yeah, well implemented, I would say. So, huge opportunities. So, when we went to have a look at the critical capabilities of the content services platform, according to Gartner, this is the complete list. So, it's about it's about things things like uh, uh, system and content security. So, it's, uh, this is what you were talking about, and Alexander. Um, it's of course about things like um, administration, yeah, being able to have a complex wiki and have an overview and being able to administer things. Um, 
it's about information governance. I think that has to do with uh, GDPR, for example. Of course, it has to do with uh, metadata and classification. Well, that's something that we know everything about with Semantic Media Wiki. And um, so this whole stack, search, of course, um, I don't know about you guys, but uh, for us, search is, is getting more and more important. We are very uh, happy with the fact that um, Semantic Media Wiki has incorporated Elasticsearch that provides really very interesting uh, capabilities. So we really like this, this uh, way Gartner is looking at our, that's how I feel about it, at our um, yeah our environment and it's uh, media wiki and semantic media wiki all over the place of course as i said it's also a matter of interpretation but this is how i think we should interpret it and i think it's true i think there's a lot of there's a lot of interest and opportunities for for um, a content services platform and um, with media wiki semantic media wiki as basis so i would say we are in the content service platform business together and business is of course very important i, I think it's and and i think i'm going to explain that a little bit later it's of course also very important that everybody in the community can can benefit from that not only companies like uh, wikibase and uh, Hallo Welt and Gezien, but also individual uh, individuals who want to contribute to the community and also want to have, want to benefit from that. And from our experience, our customers, organizations, companies like it very much. They find the idea of having a having an open source alternative. They find that very, very appealing. And, uh, but as they say, we want it out of the box. And that's something that we find, oh, we are very flexible at creating custom solutions and do whatever the customer wants, but they also want to have, they also want to have out of the box, uh, yeah, ex extensions, capabilities. And that's very important for them. So, what does what does that what does that <clears throat> what does that mean? What does out of the box mean to those organizations? So I think I've had. Um, I think this is uh, what what they find very important. Uh, there there has to be a lot of extensions to choose from. It's well, perhaps a bit like the uh, the the apps from uh, Gazin. But then, um, and 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 the, the extensions from Blue Spice, but then in a common with a common basis. Of course, they have to be of very high quality, very re reliable. Um, they must integrate well, and they must provide a very solid basis for very flexible and very custom solutions. Uh, I th well, if I look at uh, if I, I think I think uh, Wikibase Solutions is on a on a slightly different path than, uh, for example, Hello World and Gazine. We do a lot of uh, custom solutions, and we find it very important that we we do that with building blocks that have are proven. Um, but we very much appreciate flexibility. So we don't have a factory. We don't have a, a factory that, that generates forms and uh, things like that. Um, all right, so this out of the box idea is very important. So let's have a look of what I think should be in the box and what can be in the box for us. 
uh, of course, the new version of uh, MediaWiki 1.35 with uh, very nice capability of, with the new power source. I think it would be great if not only Semantic Media Wiki, but also Cargo and perhaps Wikibase. I'm, it, it, this may sound to some of you a little bit strange, but I'm from Wikibase Solutions, but I don't know anything about Wikibase. So we have some uh, people that call us that find that strange as well, but uh, that's how it is. Uh, we were there first, by the way, with, an, with that name, uh, but perhaps, um, I think there's going to be a presentation about the combination of Semantic Media Wiki and Wikibase. Uh, so why not have why not have solutions that integrate Semantic Media Wiki? We we do have uh, solutions that integrate Semantic Media Wiki and Cargo, uh, but uh, as far as I know, Cargo is not yet doesn't yet use Elasticsearch for storage and or for for uh, for search. In, in a way that Semantic Media Wiki does. And that would be very nice. Um, of course, you need some extensions that are really focused on the user experience, like page forms, like, like our WS form, like, like Tiny MCE. Uh, we have a very nice planning tool that we created with um, JavaScript, and I think it was Vue, but Robus uh, created the guy that gave the presentation this morning. So if uh, if I'm wrong, <laughs> you'll, I'm sure he'll respond to that. But the uh, the essence, of course, is that you can create a very nice user interface. It really provides a modern application and a modern user experience on on top of. Um, Media Wiki. Of course, we have a lot of utilities. Uh, we are thinking about a policy based authorization and working on an uh, extension for that. Of course, authorization is very um, difficult and um, important. What we also think is very important that you create tools that support development and deployment. And we, we uh, if you have if you deal with large companies, then you, it means that you have to have uh, development and test acceptance or QA and production environments, and you want to be able to to uh, put yeah like we we use Docker containers to uh, push through those environments. Um, we have one one customer with five five environments and that's uh, deployed on, on Azure. So um, it's very important to have a, uh, yeah, to have the tools and the capabilities to support that. And of course, well, we take it serious, uh, we take uh, Gartner seriously. So what, if, if Gartner calls something critical capabilities, then we must have uh, extensions for that. So I think workflow and process, and we have that, that's no problem. And I think, well, this is something that I thought of when I heard Alexander talk about all those requirements. I really love it, uh, Alexander, to hear you talk about that, and that you are taking care of that, and that I don't have to, because I would hate it to go through all those hundreds of requirements um, but I think that uh, means that you could also add some content in the box. And I think that's, uh, that, that may, just might be a very big advantage of such a media week based platform because we, we deal with content just as easily as we deal with application components. Um, so that really might be a a very good uh, opportunity. All right. And um, so I think I think this box that we are envisioning is 
brings good news for all of us. I think for our customers, they are really going to like the, the, the open source alternative to SharePoint Confluence and other products. I think we really can add much more, let's say, um, yeah, functionality, much more uh, capabilities than they can. We are much more flexible. We can add stuff that SharePoint and Confluence never heard of before. I think uh, such a box can provide a very good basis for product market combinations. Such so you can productize. You can you can uh, create products and packages based on this on this. Um, based on this media wiki based open source content services platform uh, it's it's one of the things that we have to do together is to to think of a name yeah, because i think that's what it is and i really love the the fact that it's media wiki based and that it's open source and that it's a content services platform but of course as a name it's it's not uh, that uh, fancy so if somebody if somebody has a name for it please put it in the chat box um, from consultants let's say individuals to two business solutions providers companies and um, contrib contributors and not only software but also content and um, so perhaps in these uh, in the box we should also put something that is that is able to manage content and and of course we have things like internationalization and localization in which uh, media wiki is also very strong so the next question of course is what should we as an enterprise semantic media wiki community do about all this and i think well i would say let's reach out to all involved parties and make a strategy and a plan create shared understanding fill the box create a market position and recognizability and create ability to execute and um if we talk about all involved parties, I would definitely include, uh, of course, the Wikimedia Foundation. I'm not sure if Cindy is still listening, but I'm sure I'm looking at the chat now. I don't think she is, but we'll get, ah, she is. <laughs> so I hope we can talk to the Wikimedia Foundation as well about, um, about this um i think it's very important to create yeah if if you look at the the very different approaches from the last three um, presentations from uh, richard alexander and what i what i know about how we do things at wikibase we have very different approaches so so it's not just a matter of uh, putting things together um create a shared basis and fill the box all right of course it's important i don't know anything about marketing but it, I, I think there's one thing that i do need, need i do i do know and that's that we can have a some kind of a quality guarantee so that companies know and understand that what they are what they are buying is is approved and this and has great quality for some of our customers, we've had um, security tests and penetration tests. And as, as a matter of fact, we are at this moment waiting for some reports, but I do know that the basics for MediaWiki are good. And of course, that's also very important that uh, um, MediaWiki is a, also a very, has a very open character, but not in the, in the software, it's, it's very uh, secure. And if we know to, how to close the doors and the windows, then it's very uh, secure. I think I still have time for a little bit about the ability. And I, I do want to uh, be able to answer some questions. 
But the ability to execute, of course, it has to do with um, if you if you uh, think big, then you must be able to grow. But I also think that um, when it comes to skills, that we are that there are very interesting opportunities uh, for for consulting, uh, because if you if you uh, if you get deeper in the uh, in in large organizations, then they really need advice on how to. Uh, you, you can't just start building or start de delivering. It's a it's a very uh, long and complex process, but very interesting. Um, I think um, yeah, the, we in in our. Um, in our glossary, it's called the solution architect. That's the guy that, or the girl, of course, that has the overview of what the customer needs and what the building blocks are going to be and how they work together and how their, how, how they, their dependencies are organized. Um, we also think that a very nice user experience is very important. So design in and that's and it can be user interface design, uh, user, but it can, uh, but also let's say um, user experience dialogues. So design is very important. We do more and more. We create mockups first and then start building. Um, and developers, of course, very important in, in very different levels or uh, very different levels, very different areas. So when I started Wikibase Solutions, I didn't know anything about PHP, CSS, nothing. I only knew I, 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 I could work with MediaWiki, but now that's, uh, you don't get very far with that. So, and of course we must have very good materials and scalability. We are focusing on, uh, on growth, we want to, um, and we think this is a very interesting opportunity. We really would like to be able to help large companies, but that means that scalability of your organization is very important, and you must be able to to move on. So if 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 there's a if there's a new version of MediaWiki, you must be able to to um, to keep up and um, so that's what we are thinking about, and we really would like to share that with uh, with you guys to see how, if we are able to create a common media wiki based open source content services platform. So let's embrace it. Are there questions? So. Not at the moment, as far as I see. Um, first, let me say uh, thank you very much for this um, uh, proposal. I think that is really great. I like the approach uh, to think big. And uh, I can imagine that this is uh, could be a, 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 a driver for more standardization. And uh, uh, so what, what we lack at the moment is uh, that we have no, or, or not um, very much standardization when it comes to de develop extensions and uh, what is the UI and so on. And uh, having such a project um, would be uh, a driver to bring those things together. And I just want to note that this is a, uh, if I compare the situation with the situation uh, five years or seven years ago, where everybody was sitting in a sandbox, um, uh, I just uh, see or I think uh, that we can see that um, the different stakeholders are now more and more coming together. For this, um, but I thank you for the... Um, we will discuss, yes, okay, we will come back uh, to that question in one hour, but I think, um, or I would like to ask you what uh, you think about uh, having a meeting 
in uh, in the hack space or no, not in hack space, maybe or in the in the beer pub uh, later with people who are interested to uh, maybe to contribute or to find out what does this mean? Yeah, uh, what is the role of Wikibase? Are you the coordinating ones? What? Uh, how can we uh, bring more quality uh, and uh, interoperability um, into uh, that field? And uh, so I would think, I would say we need some more time for that. And I propose yeah. to meet later after the panel, for instance, uh, or even may maybe about seven o'clock or so, uh, CET. I see, and I see, I see some uh, comments and oh, no, questions okay. in comments the questions. Okay. in the chat. Uh, some long ones. That's a bit, a little bit difficult. Um, so let's pick out a short one. Mm -hmm. Are we? Are you suggesting that we, we that we convince Alexander Gazin to offer his system as open source, and also Blue Spy stuff, etc.? Um, no. <laughs> Well, I think uh, Blue Spice is already uh, a lot, of, already has a lot of open source. I think, of course, everybody must decide for for himself if you want to uh, have something open source or not. But I, th I've heard some subjects from uh, Richard there for, and and from Alexander that they say, well, what we are doing here should should not be for us. Uh, alone be also because it's too complex and too big and we and it's really in the basics so so it's it's in everybody's interest to join forces and of course also it's it's absolutely no problem to on top of that to have some uh, things to have things of mm -hmm. your own so if you want to that so so it's uh, definitely so michael i i would say um, I'm not going to convince uh, Alexander, but um, uh, I, I, I think we must, we really must, I think it's, uh, like you said, uh, Richard, it's nice to think big. And I think it's, uh, it's about time we did that. And, and, and we, uh, and what, what are the consequences? What does that? What do we need to do to be able to think uh, big and act big? Mm -hmm. So that's really something that we must. Uh... So that's definitely our uh, what we are going to do. So your 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 question about are we going to coordinate that? Well, I I definitely think that we are going to down this path. Um, and trying to to uh, uh, yeah to 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 perhaps to guide us. Well, I would say let's uh, join let's join forces and see how we get there. Yeah.